This is it. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Mm, I don't know if this is quite my taste. I prefer what we're doing in Beacon Town. Yeah, Stella always wants everything exactly her way. Doesn't matter how other people want to build. That's why I like Beacon Town better, too. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team. We will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit wonderfully. I know you think you like that one, but actually, I think this one is... <laughs> Come on, you. Oh, Luna, my darling. You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh, boy. Yes, that's right, my rival. I'm finally here to meet face to face. Yeah, that's what I thought. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Oh, I really, really wish I could. I mean, really, but I can't. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Ah, oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. We're... I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. Uh, I know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? 
Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. I'm not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. We'll roll in, fight the bodyguard, snag the sword, get out again. Piece of cake. I like the sound of that. Hey, you can't be in here. And you definitely can't have those. Let's get out! fire it up. I don't like you. I'm not a fan of yours either. <clears throat> we still really need to talk about this, Petra. You really want to discuss it now? Yes, I do. It does seem like weird timing. Shush. Hey, shush you! I'm trying! <laughs> Can't have a conversation here. This whole Champion City thing's kind of a big deal, don't you think? Is it though? So I have a house here. So what? Hey, what's going on out here? Uh... So what? I feel like you're deflecting the issue. Uh, me? No, not you. Yipes. What about not wanting to be tied down? What about your friends? You mean the friends who are never around anymore? What did you say? No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing... <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks... A diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Wow, that actually makes me kind of sad. She thinks that all it takes is having a room full of treasure, even if you got it from other people. I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep, though. Should be... No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? <clears throat> So, our rivalry escalates again. Yes, I suppose it does. I can't let you continue your nefarious ways. Exactly what I'd expect from you, my nemesis. You shouldn't be here. Well, you shouldn't be such a jerk. Guess we're all disappointed. Okay, okay, fine. Just take it. Take the stupid sword. I've got better treasure than that anyway. Your deal with Petra is over, Stella. No negotiations. Sure, fine. She was a lousy hero in a residence anyway. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. That's right, the day I reclaim the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! Classic rival. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. What is that? Stop that. Or those. Well, it's a lot of 
creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. <laughs> so good to have you back. Oh, no, you don't. Would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome. Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jax fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does, he's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, then these people are dumb. Just because I'm the boss doesn't mean I can't mix it up. Uh-huh. Sure, sure. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world, and he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Yep, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. <laughs> 